I know, like watching this back, I'm gonna wish I picked up their Jordan, so. Recently, I've been binge watching a lot of American and Australian eBay sellers. I love just looking at the architecture, all the buildings. I love the weather, love the scenery. Last week we had a shocker in the charity shops. Didn't pick up too much, maybe three or four items across the morning. Let's hope we can find some more bits today. The technical term for these, with all these little bristles, is koosh. This is a koosh Godzilla. From the late 90s, a little bit worn around the edges, around his head and his claws, but he's only a pound. Looking at solds, it's gonna go for about a tenner all in. This will kickstart the day. And that is word of the day. Koosh. 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 We got a Tony the Tiger off of Frosters tucked away on the shelf. Now these are the type of things you think would be decent and worth picking up. From 1991, Kellogg's Company. He's got his little scarf on him. Nice little twirly whiskers. Two quid. They're just not worth anything. Like there's, there's a more modern Tony Tiger Teddy that sells. But this one... I think he looks really great, but it's not worth anything. Look at him there, basking in the middle of the shop. This is Pokemon Dragonite, a Dragonite cushion. Now looking on the label, made in China, no official Pokemon kind of branding on it, three quid. My eldest son, right, he is mad into Pokemon and he will absolutely love that. Well, Daddy, He's cool. Daddy. What's that there? Man City. Man City football coat. Ages 8 to 9. Man City, official Man City. How can they tell 8 to 9 then? Ah, there we go. 8 to 9 there. Full zip, raincoat. Three quid. It's got to be a tenner plus postage in that, surely. And a pair of Air Jordans here. You got Jump Man on the tongue with a little full stop on. UK size ten for a tenner. These are called Air Jordan Access. No insoles. Solds pre-owned. You're looking at about thirty, something like that. Brand new sixty. Butter. It's so cool, and it can go really fast. Bit of wear on the bottom there. I had it in my head that I wasn't going to get it, but I'm kind of talking myself into them. I don't like the fact they don't have the insoles. I'm in two minds here. I think they might hang around a little bit, and I might make a tenner on them, 10 to 15 profit. <laughs> no, nah, I'm going to leave them. These ones, however, look to be a goer. Leather feel. High top converse, insulate insulation on the line in there. Seven pound fifty. Yes, they need laces. But UK size ten. Loads of life left in them. These similar to the Jordans. You might be pushing thirty plus postage. Nice little find. Let me just explain my thinking here, right? Potentially two pairs of shoes, the Converse and the Air Jordans, both about the same price to buy, both about the same soles. But I chose these over the Jordans. The reason I didn't get those Jordans, they seem to be like a lower end model. Don't know how long they're gonna hang around with. Didn't have the insoles. These, they've got something different about them, haven't they? They've got the Thinsulate liner. That makes these more unique than other similar type Converse. There might be people actually looking for this type of Converse as well. I think these will sell a lot quicker. I know, like watching this back, I'm gonna wish I picked up their Jordan, so. Interesting shop, that one. There was that Garden Gang first edition book. Opened up eBay, searched it. People are listing it for 70 to 80 quid. I thought I was onto a winner. When you check solds, it is more like 15 quid all in. Then there was that weird fish size medium jumper. Really like the look of that. 25 quid, didn't like the price so much. But I did come out with this Casio calculator. 50p, big spender or what? Coming up to school exam season in it, or it'll wait till back to school in summer. 
got a bit of Lego Ninjago up on the shelf. Set number 70723. Should have three minifigures in it. Nice robot and some tracked vehicle there. Mean looking guns. It is open though, look. It is open. It's not even been sealed up with tape. I mean, there's, I can't see any loose Lego bits kicking around. Well, we've got instructions. We've got two big wheels, three minifigures, two sets of tracks. There's the Mech Warrior. Lots of little bits. But it looks like the bulk of it is there. There might be some minor bits missing. I'm going to take a risk. Hang on, how much is it? Tenner. Definitely going to take the risk. My eldest will love building this anyway. He'll get a tenner's worth of fun out of it. I'll sell it on and make some profit. Look what's up here. Transformers. Megatron's fight for power. I have been trying to collect the Ladybird set. I can't remember if I've got this or not. It's only 50p. What's up there? Hang on. That's Burghouse. Eight quid for a Burghouse suitcase. Prime 60. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. It is absolutely wrecked. And on the bottom, the wheels broke. Yeah, seen better days that. Oh, shame. I've been looking forward to showing you this for ages. It's obviously had to sell first, but I sold this Red Hot Chili Peppers Californication Extra Large T-shirt from 19.99, And this T-shirt has kind of sparked my interest into looking at the clothes in the charity shop. I paid £2.49 for this one. Californication print on the back. What really caught my eye was just the condition of it. Yeah, there is a slight bit of cracking in some of the letters, but the colour still really pops. No fading in the black. There's a little bit going around kind of the collar. But for a t-shirt that old, really good condition. And looking at solds, particularly the ones from like the mid-90s, they can go for hundreds. The last one of these sold for about 60. Well, I was in no rush to sell this one. And this was the only one listed up on eBay. I priced it at £120, all in. I've had a lot of watches and a lot of views. And a fair few offers coming in at around the £70 to £80 mark. Now, if I'm getting a lot of offers around a particular price point, it tells me that is the natural price of the item. The offers then started to dry up, actually. But today, I had an offer come in for £70. I counted at 90 They counted at 80 I counted at 85 they come back at 81. So for them, really, they wanted to pay 80. Because I only paid £2.49, I was happy to let it go. This is going global shipping over to Japan. What a cool t-shirt. Next sale to show you. Now, remember I had that big blind bag from Connor the Welsh Poker Picker, and it was full of teddies. There's always, always gems in them. And this little crow here, this is from The Delightfuls. Never heard of it before. That sold within 12 hours for 15 quid all in. Implies I price it too low, but that's what they tend to be selling for. And that's exactly why I love those blind bags from Connor. I wouldn't have even looked twice at that if I'd seen that out. This is a cool little graded card. This is called Maximum Carnage. It's from 1994. It's got Spider-Man, Venom and Carnage on it. Send that off to MGC, got an MGC9. I paid five pounds for the card. Cost me about a tenner to grade, so I'm 15 quid in. That's gone for 30 quid all in. Nice little markup. Obviously, if it had come back a 10, I could have charged a bit more. But considering you can still buy that card raw on eBay for about a fiver, I'm happy with that price. I picked up this pair of glittery high top Converse for three pounds at the boot sale. UK size five, they've sold for 15 pounds all in. I have had a little worrying message from the buyer following the purchase, just saying, I hope they fit. Well, me too. Smaller sale now, a pair of Nike ladies golf shoes. They don't have any insoles in, they've gone for a tenner. And two more 10 pound sales. This is a Jurassic World Mosasaurus. It's one of the Imaginex ones. And the smallest item on my shop, this tiny little mini gold Thomas. 10 pounds all in for that one. What do you think of that? Cool? 
there's a nice marmot coat there in the window. Now I've looked that brand up on eBay and it looks like the puffer coats and the bigger jackets they can sell for decent money. We'll have a look at the price of that. $3.99. Size large. Look, it is heavily worn. You can see that round there. The tags look a little bit sus, don't they? Is this the type of brand that would get faked? I don't know. And you know what, even at four quid, I'm gonna leave it I'm covered in all these little specks that are coming off the coat. If this was high quality, surely you wouldn't be doing that. Very oh, cool. You made me jump. You made me jump too, looks like Godzilla. Oh, very scary. Look at that. Oh. What have you found there? Let me see. We'll find. That is Godzilla, I reckon. It is. Yeah, open his mouth. It's got sounds and these new batteries. 50p. Gotta be getting up at 50p. It's probably about 11, 12 quid plus postage, haven't it? <laughs> this is quite cool here, look. Call of Duty monkey bomb controller holder. There he is in there. Box is a bit wrecked. And it is 12 quid, which is about where solds are. Maybe a couple of quid more on eBay with a bit of postage on top, but not enough to make it worthwhile picking up. Cool item though. We found another jelly cat. Let's have a look then. Uh, I'm seeing if it's got. Ah, tags have been cut off. But it does look very jelly cat. It's got the bead eyes, nice smile. You can feel the beans inside. We'll have a quick look on Google Lens. And yeah, it looks like a jelly cat narwhal. And on the images on Google Lens, that is where the tag should be. Yeah, I think that's a jelly cat. I go with that. What are you going to show me? Yeah, I was going to show you that. Oh, yeah, look. Is coming away a bit there. We're we gonna have to leave it. Does it make the cut for your collection? You haven't got this one, have you? Should we see whether maybe Mummy can sew that back on? Actually, how much is it? Oh, it's only a pound. Yeah. Got to get it for the collection, surely. The yeah. jelly cat guy. Check these out. Clarks. Romas, size 7, Gore-Tex. They are £10, so we're in the territory of those Jordans and Converse from earlier. The thing is, there are 850 Clark's Gore-Tex listed and over 1,100 sold. Shows that it is a fantastic sell-through rate. I'll clean these up, get them sold for about 30 plus postage. Sweet pair of Nike Air Max 90s here. I love the colour of them. The tags are starting to come away from the tongue. Size UK four and a half. Five ninety nine. Bargain price. Love them. Cute little Baymax here. Disney store stamp on the bottom. Five ninety nine though. I'll have a quick look at solds. I'd be surprised if there's enough in that. I have sold one of these before, but it was bigger. I think it was bigger. Nah, let's put them back. Have a look at this. Saved by the Bell, Ripple Junction. Kelly on there, from back in the day, size medium. £2.49. Last one sold for about a pound plus postage. Shout out, Saved by the Bell. What a throwback. I like the look of this coat here, super dry Pico classic fit. It was a 12 99 six buttons on the front. It's commodity edition. I'm finding the super dry stuff. When I list it up, it sounds really quick. If you price it right. So a little bit of research. They look to only be going for about 25 quid. Anyway. I'll wait until that one gets marked down a bit in a couple of weeks. I did, however, pick this Adidas jacket up. 
Not as easy to identify as a super dry one. Doesn't have any more information than that on the inside. But it was only a tenner. And looking at solds for just Adidas long jackets, they can go from anywhere from 20 to 120. I picked this one up to do the research. The sold is seen because it does have a few marks on it. It is a bit faded in, in, in places. But generally, it looks reasonable condition. Size medium. Nice quilted lining around the bottom with a bit of fleece going on at the top. Excited to do the research into this one. And we start out the weekend sales with a shout out to Delilah and her mum, Ava. So Delilah jumped onto my eBay store, picked up this TY teddy of a pterodactyl. It's weirdly cute in its own way, but it's, it's her mum's birthday, Ava's birthday coming up. So happy birthday. Actually, I hope this wasn't bought as a surprise for you because that's kind of ruined it because I know both of you watch the channel. So thank you both so much for the support and I'm glad this is swooping its way to a good home. Cough, just had a look at my jumper in the, in the camera. I've just been doing a load of DIY today. I've sold two of these today. They are Samsung Gear VR headsets. I bought these brand new, they're still sealed, for £7.50 each. And I've sold them both to the same buyer, £30 plus postage. Not the best markup in the world, and I thought these would do a lot better. When I was searching sold listings, I was actually looking at the wrong item. Still, they've sold for some profit, and actually, the buyer has got a lot of positive feedback. I imagine he's buying these to flip on himself on another platform. I sold this bag of eight Little Tykes figures. Now, these are classic toddler toys made by Mattel. They've got kind of universal fittings on the bottom that fit with other Little Tyke play sets. Bought these as a test. They have hung around for ages and they've only sold for a tenner. So I'll be passing on these in the future. This one did not hang about. Paid a pound for it, sold for £12.50 all in. Lego Duplo, official Lego. You can see the little Lego lettering on the little studs there. So within a week, I sold my squeaky sausage dog. Now I picked this one up, right, because it's made by Kelly Toys. You can see it there. And they're the people that make Squishmallows. Now someone has bought this as a replacement for another one. If you've got young kids, you know what this like. If they've got a toy that they're particularly attached to, you have to buy that exact same toy if it goes missing or gets damaged. That's what's happened here. £12 all in. Got some clothing sales to show you. I've got this full zip Berghaus fleece size double XL. Little bit of a mark on the back there, but that has been fully photographed and described. £22.50 all in. I picked this lightweight ladies North fleece jacket up at the boot sale. I paid £10 for it. Bought it because of the logo. Striking colour. It's gone for 20 quid all in. Not a massive markup, but if I pack that right, it should go as a letter. All part of exploring new brands and dipping my feet into clothing a bit more. And this one was my coat. I'm actually tempting fate a little bit. I'm starting to pack away some of my winter clothing. But rather than put this away for next year, I've decided to sell it. It's a super dry wind attacker. Black and orange colour. Size large. That's gone for 20 quid all in. So a bit more luck today. Guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. Shout out Adam Malpass. First commenter again. The king has got his crown. Bank holiday weekend coming up. Might do another video and just reflect how the first four months of this year are going on eBay. Just to see where, where we're at, see whether we're on track. We'll see how time goes. Like always guys, if you enjoyed this, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Catch up with you in the next one.